you are asked to find the minimum value of sine inverse of x the whole square plus cos inverse of x the whole square. Then after getting the minimum value, we will equate to that pi squared by k and then get the value of k. Let me call that equal to y if you like. That is equal to say sine inverse of x the whole square plus pi by 2 minus sine inverse of x the whole square. Because cos inverse of x plus sin inverse of x equal to say pi by 2. Therefore, cos inverse of x is pi by 2 minus sin inverse of x. Now, this is equal to 2 sin inverse of x the whole square. Here one I get, here another one I get. Then minus 2ab, that is pi sin inverse of x plus this square, pi squared by 4. This is my y. For the sake of simplicity, I will call that equal to 2 set square minus pi set plus pi squared by 4. We will try to get the minimum value of this value. That is then dy by d set is equal to that is 4 set minus pi. Equating that is equal to 0, set will be equal to say pi by 4. If we take the second differentiation, you will be having 4 which is positive, therefore it is a minimum when set is equal to say pi by 4. And therefore the minimum value will be, the minimum value of y will be equal to set is equal to pi by 4, therefore twice into pi by 4, pi squared by 16 minus pi into say pi by 4 plus pi by 4. And this is given to be equal to pi squared by 8 on simplification. But the problem says this is equal to pi squared by k. Therefore, k should be equal to say 8. Our choice 3 is correct.